All right, so this is going to be a, a video on how to do data logging with the R1 Works Digital 3 ESC. I've had some people ask me some questions about how to pull data logs and how to save them and load them and stuff like that. So I'm just going to go over those details now. With the uh, R1 Works ESC, um, uh, the way it does data logging is a little bit different than some other ESCs. Uh, with this one, uh, the way it works is when you turn the ESC on, uh, it's going to start recording the data. Uh, but as soon as you turn the ESC off, the data is gone. It doesn't actually save any data in the ESC at all. It just records it live um, continuously inside the ESC. And you can download that data to your uh, phone with the R1 Works app through the Wi-Fi module. And then once you have the data on your phone, you can analyze it, look at it and check it out. <clears throat> but until you download it to your phone, uh, that data is basically just sitting on the ESC. And if you turn the ESC off, that data is gone. So it's very important if you're going to, uh, if you want to do some data logging, you do a couple of hits, you bring the car in and you pull the data off the ESC before you shut it off. So, uh, make sure you, you pull the data logs off the ESC and shut it off afterwards. So uh, we're gonna get started. So as soon as we turn on the ESC, it's gonna start recording. And with the Wi-Fi module plugged in, uh, it's gonna generate the, uh, the, the Wi-Fi signal for the, uh, the module itself. So over on our phone, we're gonna have to bring this over here. Over on the phone, we're gonna get the signal for the R1 Works ESC right here. So we just connect to that. And if it's the first time connecting, the password's gonna be uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And once you've established the connection, we can go ahead and load the R1 Works app. Now, uh, it always gives a little it always gives me a little fail to connect error and then connects right away. As long as you see the settings and live icons black and not gray, that means you have a connection. If for whatever reason you've disconnected uh, and reconnected and you want to, and these two are gray instead of being black, you hit the little icon in the top right over here, and that will reestablish the connection as long as you have a, a Wi-Fi connection between the phone and the ESC, or sorry, the Wi-Fi module. So with that, we're just going to show that the system is live. All right. And it's always good that uh, when you're doing hits, you come over to this tab here and you're making sure to check your minimum voltage doesn't go below 6.5. And you're also making sure that your temperatures aren't spiking too high and that when you're doing a hit, your, your temperature is at a reasonable rate before you do that hit. So we're going to go over to the log tabs to do some data logging. So because the ESC is just turned on, we haven't done any hits. Uh, we're going to do three hits to generate a log for those three hits. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. One. Two. And that's three. Okay, so now we have three hits logged inside the ESC. We're going to want to pull that data off the ESC and bring it over to our app inside the uh, the phone. So we're going to hit the, from the log tab, we're going to hit the download button, which is the uh, arrow pointing downwards. Hit that. And at the bottom of the screen, there's going to be a, there's going to be a blue prog progress bar. Once that's finished going all the way to the side, we can then... Uh, access the uh, the data. All right, so with that done, we can see the three hits that we did right there. So with the data, you can spread it out to zoom out, zoom in. You can also uh, make it bigger or smaller going up and down if you'd like. And once you narrow in on the hit that you want to analyze, uh, you just tap anywhere along the hit and it's gonna give you the correlating data for that point in the graph. So as you can see the RPMs shoot up here. So we see the RPMs maxed out at uh, 46,000 uh, RPM and the voltage 
uh, the current was 5.1 amps and the voltage on the battery was 7.4 so on this side over here uh, any of the uh, data points that you select will appear on the graph and give you a black box around the data point over here so if i click voltage you'll see the voltage line appears and it's the the, the color for the point over here is going to be the same color for the line in the graph so we have current it's going to show you current we throw RPM, it's going to show you RPM, throttle, and so on. So now, now that we have a, a data log for these three hits, and we looked over the data, we want to save this data so we can compare it to another test, a few hits that we do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over into the, the, the top right corner, there's going to be three lines touch that and it's going to give you the load and save menu we're going to click on save and this one we're going to put as test one so you can easily name the the file uh, the date the hit the time that you got anything that you need to uh, make that easy to remember exactly what hit uh, this this data log will correlate to so go ahead and save that and <clears throat> Now that we've got that data saved and we want to do a new data file, we don't want to have the, the data from these three runs uh, mixed up with the next data log that we want to create. We want to basically start that from, from fresh. So in order to do that, we need to uh, erase the data that's in the ESC, uh, erase, restart the recording in the, in the ESC. So if you see on the top right over here, we have the garbage can icon. Well, if you hit that, that will re, um, erase all the data that's inside the ESC. So we're going to go ahead and erase that. And now the data log has been completely erased inside the ESC and it's restarting itself from now. Now, it's very important whenever you're doing a hit, you go over to your live tabs and you make sure to, to monitor the data inside here. So, you know, you're not going too low in voltage. You're not, you're not going too high in temperature. Everything looks good. So you go back to uh, the data log. And now we want to make a log for another four hits that we're about to do right now. So I'm going to make those four hits. One, two, three, four. So now that we've done those four hits, we're going to download the, the data log again. Bring it from the ESC to the phone. And remember the progress bar on the bottom. Once that's finished, we'll be able to access those that log. All right, so now you see here we have the, the four hits. And again, uh, we can analyze any hit individually, see the details of that hit by touching any point along the data. And if we wanna save these for later, we hit the three bars. Go to save, and this is going to be test number two. Done. All right, so now we have the two logs stored up and saved. So now we want to go in there and just analyze the data. We've got two different two different sessions that we've recorded. We've got the data logs for each session. We want to compare those two together. So we go back into log here, and we hit the load. And we have the two log sessions that we have right there. So we're gonna load up the first one, which was the three hits. Perfect, so we got the three hits right there. Now we're gonna load the session two, which was the four hits. And there we go, now we have the four hits. So very easily, <clears throat> we're able to compare uh, the one data log file to the other data log file. We're able to easily separate them and store them inside the phone. So you can basically store as many data log files as you can uh, save inside your phone, as much memory as your phone will have. And it's very easy to uh, isolate the data for the run specifically that you've done. I just need to, to include also how to delete a log file uh, from inside the, uh, uh, the R1Works app itself. So you don't have to go fishing through the... Uh, the files on the phone in order to do the deletes. Uh, when you go to the log tab and you go to the load and save menu on the top right three lines, 
uh, if you click on the load option, you'll see the the two logs that we have for test one and test two. Just press and hold the log that you want to delete, and it'll give you the option to delete it. We'll do the other one, press and hold, delete, and that's all you have to do in order to delete one of the log files. And uh, with that, yeah, I think that comes, that, that's going to complete this video. That's pretty much everything that uh, you should need to know about uh, data logging. If there's anything I missed or you have any questions, uh, please throw them in the comments and I'll try to address everyone as best I can. And with that, I hope this video has been helpful. Please like, subscribe, and share. And thanks, uh, thanks for watching.